Hi, this is Shoku Sugi. Today, I would like to talk about my favorite martial artist. Can you guess? Late Mr. Bruce Lee, Mr. Jackie Chan, Mr. Jet Li, or Mr. Chuck Norris? Well, you are wrong. I do respect them all, and I like them, but my most favorite martial artist is Miyamoto Musashi. Have you ever heard his name and his books? Five Rings. To understand his philosophy, his techniques, you have to understand his background, his family, and the era he was born and raised in Japan. Miyamoto Musashi was born in 1582, even though some resources and books say he was born in 1584. But I do believe in, and it's accurate to say he was born in 1582. Anyway, he was born as the second son uh, of Tahara Iesada, who was a samurai and lives in Yonada village Hyogo Prefecture, Japan. In old and typical Japanese tradition, the first son had to take over his father's job, no matter what. There is no choice. And the second and the third son had to move out from his family or being adopted by different family who didn't have any sons. So, Miyamoto Musashi was not exceptional. He was adopted by Shinmen Muninosuke Ishin, who was a very famous uh, swordman and using two swords. Miyamoto Musashi was trained by his adopted father since he was infant. When Miyamoto Musashi was born in the late 16th century, Japan was controlled and reigned by Sengoku daimyos, warlords. Sengoku daimyos always wanted to expand their territories and powers to become number one in Japan and controlling all nations by himself. So, they need a strong swordman. So always they hired skillful swordmen. Once one Sengoku Daimyo fights with another Sengoku Daimyo and loses, not only himself but also his family leads will be captured or kidnapped or killed and decapitated. If one Sengoku Daimyo loses, his all loyal servant loses their job too, and masters. Those lost samurai called as Roni. Miyamoto Musashi's father and adopted father were both Roni. So Miyamoto Musashi was working so hard to become strong and skillful swordman since his infant. Here, I'd like to explain to you his styles and some poses. When he was young, around 23 or 24 years old, he was calling his style Enmeryu style. But later on, in his five rings, he was calling his style Niten Ichiryu, two sword style. 
There were five different poses, basic poses, such as Jodan, upper pose, Gedan, lower pose, Chudan, middle pose, Mingi Waki no Kamae, right hand pose, Hidari Waki no Kamae, left hand pose. From 13 to 29, Musashi fought more than 60 matches with various swordmen without losing one. After 30, he felt to seek and study more mental and spiritual than the physical one. It amazed me that Musashi never got married even though he adopted one son later on. Finally, in his 50, he felt he mastered sword techniques in physically and mentally. At the age of 60, Musashi had started writing five rings to prove his masterful and outstanding swordsmanship, as well as to preserve and convey to future generations as the way of being a real samurai. It was the ultimate textbook for samurai. Even though he wrote this book for samurai, we our society, our individuals could learn from it a lot.